How's it going, my people? This is your boy Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Now, before we get into Pac, I want to give a good, quick shout out to my people, my folks, my friends, and all of our friends. So before we get into Pac, we're going to get into this real quick. So first of all, I want to get to the nitty gritty. There's my boy Casanova, the down, the dis zone. Casanova El Don. Official Casanova Instagram, Casanova the Don, the General 100 100. We self made ATL New Jersey LA booking features DM or K Prince the Don at AOL.com. Followed by Renello, Macapac, and seven others. Now, I'm just reading everything that's saying on his Instagram. You guys need to go and follow him. All right. We need to follow him and support Casanova the Don. You know what I'm saying? For doing us that big up, big ups. And, uh, you know, spend the time, you know, to speak to us. You know what I'm saying? We have a new connection to this Tupac mystery. We have a new friend in the community, and that is Casanova the Don. And he's going to give us clues and, you know, information and open new, new doors that we just didn't have without him. So we need to appreciate and show love to all the people that show love to us. All right, so big ups to Mr. Casanova the Don. We had him on our live stream. Check that out. It's the video before this one, um, and we need to show love to Mr. Casanova the Don. Now, uh, moving forward real quick, you know, um, we need to give a big shout out to one of our sponsors, guys. Um, we're gonna be making hats. Uh, we're gonna be, you know, doing giveaways. We're gonna be doing all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, uh, this is one of our sponsors that's going to be sponsoring us, you know, giving us hats, making us hats and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So you guys, you know, these people right here are so awesome. They make the best hats. And not only do they make the best hats, man, they make the best clothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just need to get in contact with them, man. You know, they do a lot of Tupac stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they're big supporters of the channel Wired Up uh, TV. So, you know, if you guys support us, please support them. You know, you can't direct. You, can, you know, you can't go. You can straight. You can. Uh, see, I'm over here stuttering, man. You can get in contact with them through um, Reneo.com. You know what I'm saying? Reneo.com. You know, pick your closing. And uh, they do a lot of uh, cool stuff. Also, their Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Reneo at Instagram. Uh... You know, the official, you know, casting over the Don. And the official Wired Up TV hat and clothes sponsor. So y'all check it out, man. Support. Support because this will fund and help us, you know, find clues, speak to people, get people on our side, and be able to speak to Tupac and find Pac, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the realest, bro. This is the realest, man. Wired Up TV is the realest, man. We speak to people, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're not making up stuff, making up stories. You know what I'm saying? Uh, paying random people to say things, man. This is the realest right here, boy. And we got the realest truth. That's why everybody on Pac's side or that new Pac is on our side, man. You guys need a peep game, bro. Peep game. You know what I'm saying? It's not more obvious than this. Tupac is alive. With that being said, guys, let's get down like James Brown. This is a Rosemary Sentimental production from the Wild TV team and family. Best Tupac Alive channel and past and present. Political news. How's it going, my people? This is your boy Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping those eyes on the road. Handle everything you guys got to handle because I worry about you guys, and you know your boy has much love for you guys. I'll do anything for you guys. And I miss you guys, man. <clears throat> I'm sorry your boy was lagging a little bit. I'm, I'm in the process of moving out. I know it keeps sounding like a broken record. But I don't like to let you guys down. And I like to keep you guys informed. <clears throat> now, I want to read to you guys this. The verses from Checkout Time. From the All Eyes on Me album. Here it goes. And this is the beginning. You know, they ain't the lyrics. It's just the beginning when Pac is talking. Listen to the song. Hey, what time is it, nigga? I don't know. Oh, shit. It's 12 o'clock. Oh, shit. We got to get the fuck up out of here. Hell yeah, nigga. It's checkout time, nigga. Hey, call up corrupt. Call dad's room. 
Hey there, bitch. Where's Suge at, nigga? Call Suge. Call that nigga. Tell him to meet me downstairs. Where's K and them niggas at, man? Where's K? Where K and them niggas at, man? Tell the Vatlet bring the bands around. Hey, y'all seen my shoes? Hey, corrupt. Y'all niggas driving or y'all flying back? What's up? Man, I'm rolling, man. Fuck that shit. Hey, psych, nigga. Come on, man. Get up the fucking bathroom, fool. Fuck that. I lost some money, nigga. Oh, oh, nigga, damn. Now I'm up early in the morning. Breath sticking as I'm yawning. Just another sunny day in California. Now that's where the lyrics start to begin. But these lyrics, not only these lyrics, guys, everything after Pac got out of prison is a clue from the videos, from the lyrics, uh, from everything and in between is a clue. Now, one thing I want to stress and the one thing I really want to bring up is when he says, um, when he says, where K and them niggas at? Where K? That letter K. I'm alive K. K. That letter, man. That letter is something that you guys cannot just push out the way. And we need to really uh, check out and look to see what they're doing. Um, you know, because it's really important. Now, the K, you guys know what I'm about to say, man. The K, where a lot of people think, and I mean a lot of people, most people, man, and people that, uh, you know, that I've talked to before, even some of Pac's homies, man, you know, believe that the K is for Casanova. You know what I'm saying? His lyrics are so deep, and uh, they're, they're so on point, man. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people think that, you know, Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Chops it up with him that he speaks to Tupac. Now, some people think that he actually ghost writes some songs for Pac. Not all of them. Some of them for Pac. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. That Pac ghost writes some of his songs. Not all of them. Just some of them. And then some people think that Pac just chops it up with him. And him, you know, uh, and then Casanova being an artist, you know, he puts it in, 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 his, in his own words on, you know, his style. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think that Casanova is an artist that Tupac brought up himself. You know what I'm saying? But there's also people that think Casanova is Tupac, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think that he lip sings and all this stuff or whatever. You know, everybody has their own theories on what's going on and who's who. And, you know, basically and uh, what's what. You know what I'm saying? But uh, one thing we cannot ignore um, is the fact that this K keeps coming out in every single thing, you know what I'm saying, that uh, Pac was doing, guys. We cannot ignore that. We have to pay real close attention to that because, you know, he has the K in everything, guys. You know, in um, the Machiavelli album, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he in the Machiavelli album, you know, what does Machiavelli spell? I'm alive, K. That K is there. He doesn't put OK, none of that stuff, man. He doesn't put nothing else. He says, I'm alive, K. Most people think it's for Casanova. This is very, very, very interesting. Also, 12 o'clock is almost the precise time that Pac allegedly gets shot. 12 o'clock is, uh, is almost the precise time that the plot starts. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken, he was allegedly shot around what? 1.15? Uh, uh, sorry, 1.15. About 11.15, 11.30-ish, almost 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Pac could have thought that that's the time they were going to come because he had everything planned out. So Pac could have thought, you know what? Everything's going to go down at 12 o'clock. So that's why he made this song like this. He almost got it right on the money because Pac was a prophet. You know what I'm saying? And he allegedly passed away, but we all know he escaped. On the 13th, you know, 13th is how the, a lot of these people, um, you know, especially people that, you know, were on the elite, you know, you know everybody knows that Pac and Suge, you know what I'm saying, didn't sell their soul, didn't sell out, you know what I'm saying, but they had their own signs and a lot of people think that the third, that the 13th is how they communicate, how they speak with numbers, you know what I'm saying, people think different stuff, they say he was part of the Illuminati, so people doesn't uh, think that he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But I know Pac might have joined. It might have, you know what I'm saying, uh, been down with him just to get his voice out there. We've done a video on this before. I'm not going to get too into the Illuminati stuff here 
you know what I'm saying? But there's a we have a couple of videos on Wired Up TV. You guys can check it out. You know, scroll down, subscribe, you know, hit the notification bell, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot more interesting stuff. Um, and with that being said, guys, it's just a quick video. Keep your head up, and like I always tell you guys, my people, always, always stay wired up, my people. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.